guys, Mindy Browse here, CC Foundations Director. Um, this project I want to discuss is for Matisse. Going off grid a little bit um, because I wanted to have a Faubist, a different art movement, and as well as a um, cutout collage. All right, so again, we'll discuss that in tutor meeting, but this is the demonstration and discussion. All right, so this is Matisse. Remember, tutors, I want you to say Matisse at least seven times in class, probably more, seven times seven, no, not that many. But say it a lot, all right? And you're gonna discuss that he's a Falvis. Falvis were known for using bold, very unusual colors in the pieces and not necessarily always looking very realistic. All right, so you're gonna discuss that. Look, draw that out, what do they see here? Did women really have, do we really have yellow and green and blue and purple on our faces? Not usually, all right? Discuss these colors. By now, you will have done Rembrandt and Audubon, which were more realistic with their pieces, and then we're moving on to more um, impressionist style and things like that. So, you're gonna look at that, then you're gonna look at this one, um, and then these. So, as, as uh, Matisse, as Matisse got older, his eyesight started going a little bit. He also, I think, it was having trouble standing up, if I remember correctly. Um, that could be wrong. But so he started doing cutouts and preparation for pieces and we put them, placed them on canvases um, to plan. But then he loved it so much that he started doing these cutout collages as the whole piece of art. He hid this art for quite a while because he didn't think it would be embraced or accepted as his new medium. Um, turns out it was quite beautiful and you know, of course everyone loves it, but he started that movement, he was the first one. It was just gorgeous. All right, so then you're gonna have these pieces to look at. And I want you to ask them what they notice about the pieces. Again, on this one, you can see how large these works are. That's two people standing. They're very, very big. Ask them what they notice. Okay, ask for observations. What sizes are the cutouts? Do they all, they all the same size? What about the colors? Do they work well together? Things like that, okay? I want you to be able to draw out that they have, he has done large, medium, small pieces and balance those as well as the colors, okay? All right, let me sit down. All right, so then what you're gonna do is each student, you're gonna have these pieces on the table for them to look at, um, and each student is going to have five different colors of Astro Bright paper for their paint, for their cutouts in class. They do not have to use all five, but they can. All right, so then I'm going to tell you, you're gonna tell them, all right, now it's time for us to do our cutouts. You each have five pieces, I want you to do a large, a medium, and a small, at least. They can do more than that, but they need to have at least one large, one medium, one small cutout. So this is an example of a large one, all right? In discussion with my art teacher friend, she taught me, and I need you to understand, to help your students, to not move the scissors, but to move the paper, that that's what he did, he said. And now he knew exactly what he was looking for. Remember, he was a master artist. We're beginners in this, um, we're learning but he moved the paper. So you're gonna put the paper and you're gonna start cutting, but you're gonna move the paper, which makes a more fluid kind of cut, as you can see. Now, will the Abbasidarians have a hard time with this? Of course they will, all right? But we're not looking to be exactly like Matisse's, right? He was a master artist, all right? So here's a medium. All right, and then I'm gonna use a different color for one of my small pieces. Again, I'm gonna move the paper, not the scissors as much. All right, there's my funky little, little one. All right, also do not let them cut angles, okay? They need to have smooth curves. Again, that goes back to our first six weeks of fine arts. Help them see what kind of lines are these. These are not straight lines. All right, so I could cut more and they may cut more, okay? Remember, five to seven minutes tops discussing Matisse art, Matisse himself. Then the rest of the time you're gonna need for this project. So let's say you have 20, 23 minutes. You're gonna use probably 15 cutting out, helping students cut out, them helping one another, things like that. It'll take the full 15 probably for the Abbasidarians. The older kids may not take as long, right? Then you'll move to the arrangement part of the process. You need to make sure you have at least 10 minutes to arrange on the canvas. Um, 
No less than that, because it takes a while, this discussion, right? So, um, then we'll move over to our canvases. All right, so each class will have a really large sheet of paper for their canvas. Um, this is smaller than what you'll have, because I did this with three students. They went crazy cutting. You're gonna not cut as much. Um, but you'll have a really large piece. So the next step of the process is for them to use the painter's tape. I would have a mop handing out little pieces of painter's tape. And the students are gonna place their pieces where they think they want them to go. Again, refer back to the pieces, Matisse work, and talk about balance of shape and balance of color, right? After I did this practice project with the five, eight, and 11 year old, I learned some things. And so I left it up so I can show you the difference. You can see here, I did not understand at the time to have them do large, medium, and small. So while this looks fun, it doesn't look like a Matisse. They also really insisted on, on these lines and I let them, but we're gonna have, in class, we're gonna talk about balance of the color that Matisse didn't have all of one color in one spot. So I want you to see this because I want you to see it doesn't really look like a Matisse much, right? But in class, um, as you go along, and you know, as they start taping, say, okay, are we keeping a balance of color? Are we keeping a balance of shape? So they'll place their large ones first, see like these, around, and then they'll place their medium, and then their small. Again, have a mom dispensing tape to each kid. You don't need much, just a little piece so they can put it on. And again, the reason we use the painter's tape is it can be moved around as you work on that. You're gonna discuss it as a class. Make sure you like it. Originally, I wanted to have these glued on by the end of the class, but that is not, I don't think we can do that. So you're gonna bring your canvas, canvas out to me in the middle room and I'll glue them on for you, okay? So as a class, they're gonna discuss and make sure the balance. Each family, I will give a packet with a um, piece of white paper, um, drawing paper, and some more astrobite bright paper for them to take home so that students can do their individual Matisses at home and then that after they have learned and done this um, as a group project. Um, again, the reason we're doing it as a group because he did such large pieces and it's fun to do a nice big, big project, but they will have a piece to take home and work on there. So, all right, thanks guys, that's our Matisse.